everyone welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to create an item and save it inside our redis uh, database with next.js we will use server actions uh, so yeah let's get started so firstly uh, i have created this page colon localhost colon 3000 slash create item and here you can enter some uh, item details so for for example the first input takes the name uh, so i'll enter something next input takes the image url so i enter some image url i'm using an unsplash image uh, so you will have to configure this domain as well uh, which i'll show you in a bit and i will enter some price i'll click on create and the item has been created forget about this like these are user details which we had configured in the previous video now this is the item id for it i'll go to this particular item id so i have gone through this particular item id and here you can see uh, the water bottle uh, the image as well as the price has been printed so let's get started on how to do this so first what you will have to do is uh, you will have to go to page.tsx and here firstly you will have to go to services uh, then queries inside that items then you will have to go to items.ts and uh, here i have created three methods first to get the item second to get all items and third to create an item so to get the item you will use make use of the uh, redis client call h dot get all and pass the uh, particular item id which we are using uh, for in our app and if it is null uh, then return it uh, if it is length is equal to zero then return null else deserialize it if uh, then then uh, the method is of get items here we are passing all the ids for our items and here we are using a map method to get all and then using promise dot all and if any of the item is uh, length is equal to zero then return null otherwise deserialize it and here we are creating an item so we are generating an id then serializing it and i'm printing the id uh, in console just for uh, easily so that i can check that okay this id was created properly and then we are calling h set uh, of our uh, redis client next we are calling deserialize.ts method as well so here uh, is how you deserialize the uh, object and i am using this luxon dependency inside my package.json so i've added uh, this over here as well as at the types slash luxon so if you see deserialize this is how i'm deserializing an object and similarly for serialize.ts as well uh, this is how i'm serializing an object so i'm using created at and ending at uh, okay so the next thing is also uh, if you see how the types look like so this is how the created item attributes looks like and this is for the particular item okay uh, next is uh, also inside keys.ts i have added this item keys next is creating the server action so if you see i have created this item slash id page this will help us to fetch the particular id so here so depending on what id you have entered in the url i am getting that particular id then calling this get item method so for this we don't require any server actions we can directly call it uh, also uh, make sure you use uh, like we don't need to use uh, like revalidate equal to zero because this is a dynamic route right and here i am just displaying uh, like the name image url as well as the price okay next is creating an item so for that i have created this loading component first next inside page.tsx i am using this i am using the use form state also it is marked as use client and inside form i have taken these three inputs i have taken my loading indicator as well as a sub a button submission button for submission and this is for displaying any error if any and inside server action inside our server action uh, we have this price input and first i'm checking whether the name is not equal to if uh, name is not of string type then return error similarly for image url and uh, here i'm checking the price input and if the price input is not null then convert it to string then convert it to float and if it is less than one then return an error message and here how here we are calling the create item method which we have created earlier and if there are any error we are just printing it to the uh, like we are returning the error as well and if everything is okay then we are redirecting to the main page so thing which i forgot to tell you inside next.config.js you will have to add this remote patterns for images i have added star star that means uh, load images from any domain but if you want to be careful you can add uh, image from only particular domain so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye